Hello, I'm Joachim Duplessis. Welcome to the HTS ePoll. It's your opportunity to weigh in on the most pressing issues of the day. The effects of climate change are being felt the world over with marked increase in the intensity and number of wildfires, more severe floods, more frequent and powerful storms. Climate change experts warn that the situation could get much worse with increased temperature levels expected to take a toll on people's health and productivity. Small island developing states, SIDS, are expected to feel the brunt of the effects of climate change. The industrialized nations are largely responsible for the warming of the climate. COP28, the annual assembly of representatives of government, industry, and community organizations, will be held in the United Arab Emirates from the 30th of November to the 12th of December to examine ways of addressing the climate crisis. So we ask, do you have confidence in world leaders finally coming up with a workable plan to address global warming? We took to the streets to get your opinion and here's what you had to say. In order for us to see our, the positive change in our climate, we need to realize that it starts with us. Each individual person has to play their part. We need to teach our children about how to properly dispose of garbage. We need to, we need to stop our wasteful, wastefully using water. We need, to, we need to realize that it's not just incumbent on the leaders, but we, what are we doing? So in order for us to see a positive change, we each need to play our role in, um, in changing it. Well, to be honest, climate, Change is something that's real. Nobody can change anything about it. It's heat, 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 blisters, blisters, blisters. What I can advise people go and bathe often, um, rub themselves with alcohol and thing, and we can't do anything about it. And the big people, the world leaders, have to do something about it. I believe they have something to do with that because we can't be getting blisters on us like that if it's not for a reason. So they should do something about it. Yes, climate change is a real thing. But the people, the world leaders, they are not ready as yet to do something about it. But when they will be ready, it will be almost too late for us. It is time for them to put their heads together because they are the ones who put the world so. Yeah, you see, if climate change, you have to accept it's real. When you really look at the leaders, yeah, the leaders have a part to play in that. They're not doing what they're supposed to do to match the climate there now. And I think that the climate we're living in there is suiting us there now because when you realize before, the climate that was there before is because of the climate was better before because of the people was better than us now. They are, the togetherness was there, the love to each other was there, the caring to each other was there. But right now, people, nobody care about nobody's now. So. The world, if the world leaders come in together, they could know what to do and they could do something to solve them things. But it's not just a matter of talk alone. You have to take action as well. I am not, I am not of the opinion that world leaders will you know, get us the solution that is required to deal with planet Earth's issues right now with regards to climate change. Every major world leader appears to be you know, self-serving their own interests and not the interests of planet Earth with regards to global change, global warming and the damage that is being created by natural disasters, you know. So, I am, I am not optimistic at all. Well, it's almost sad to have a change of climate right now. Well, I have a climate change, but I have a change of climate change, but I have a change of climate but c'est les leaders là même, ils ont fait meeting tous les jours, les jours, l'année, les l'année. Côté qui est là, ils ont fait un petit changement dedans. Un de ces petits pays là, pour ça développer. Mais ils ont même moins de qui ont fait bah ils plus mauvais, parce que plutôt ils ont fait bah avec meeting ils ont fait, c'est plus mauvais ils ont fait bah ils plus mauvais. La jet, les la jet, tout bagarre comme ça. So, so pour les là, nous gagnons pour juste Thanks for those responses. Now to our new discussion. The unique St. Lucia Flower Festival La Rose is being celebrated in the town of Groselet with all of the various community groups assembling in one location. This is a departure from the traditional way of celebrating the flower festivals in each individual community. Last year, the city of Castries was the location for the grand celebrations. 
The new format is aimed at giving the Flower Festivals greater prominence with the hope of attracting increased membership and following. Some have countered that this new approach is denying the communities of their individual celebrations. So we ask, do you support the new format of La Rose being celebrated in one central location? Voting is easy. Just log on to hcsstlucia.org and vote. Remember our EPO team is always on the go to get your responses as well. Watch the HTS News Force from 7 p.m. for the results and a new discussion. And a new discussion. Oh,